it's easy to get caught up with the surface things. The things that everybody sees, but they don't sustain you when life comes trying to tear you apart. So how do we dig a deeper foundation? It's a great question. Let's dig in. It's time for Grace Points. So I love buildings. I love architecture. I love looking at big, amazing structures and thinking about how long it took to design it, how long it took to build it. One of the tallest buildings in the world is the Burj Khalifa. It's the Khalifa Tower in Dubai. It stands 2,717 feet tall. That's literally over a half a mile tall. And it is gleaming in the sunlight. I mean, this thing sparkles, it glistens. When you think about the design and the, and the build time and just how amazing it is to look at, you can easily get distracted. You can, be, you can be so focused on the outside of it that you forget what's lying beneath the surface. Because the Burj Khalifa, even though it reaches 2,717 feet tall, it goes down, its foundation reaches down 164 feet. All the part that you don't see is what's sustaining all of the part that you do see. And the same goes for a relationship with God. We can get caught up on all of the external, forward-facing, public-facing ministry things, right? Like singing and preaching and ministry leading and leading from up front and titles and ecumenical language. And we talk about being bishop and elder and pastor and apostle and psalmist. And when did we go from just being regular singers to psalmist? I don't know. And we have this identity crisis of titles and it's all surface. And it doesn't sustain us when life comes to tear us apart. The things that do sustain us are the unseen things, the things that aren't public facing, they're not forward facing, no one sees them, it's just you and your private time. Things like the Word of God. That's what gives you a deep foundation. Prayer, the Word of God, being a hearer, being a doer of the Word, not simply hearing a good sermon on the weekend and going home and doing nothing about it, but literally being a doer of the Word as well. That's how you dig deep and build a firm foundation. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 6, verse 48, they are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was well built. Building a deep foundation, digging deep. The word says he built a deep foundation and he built it on a rock. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. We can't afford to get caught up with all of the public facing things, assuming that that's gonna sustain us when we go through life's hardships and turmoil. All of that stuff is surface. What we need is a deep rooted foundation built on Jesus Christ, built on the unseen things. And when we do that, a firm foundation will settle us in times of turmoil. It will secure us when life is trying to tear us apart, right? It, it sustains character, godly character, when we're tested and tried and tempted. That's the only way that we keep from doing the wrong thing when we have a deep foundation. But it also secures us in our knowledge of the word because now we have to be so secure in our understanding of scripture because anybody can say anything and it sounds good and you put it to music or there's a TikTok or there's an Instagram video about it. There's a reel about it somewhere where some preacher is saying something crazy. And unless you have a deep foundation, you'll get caught up in deception. But scripture tells us that he dug deep and built that foundation on Jesus Christ. We can't get caught up in the shiny forward facing things. I want a relationship that digs deep and builds on Christ and Christ alone. On the word of God, prayer time, so that I'm sustained and secure for the kingdom to come. And I pray that you want the same thing. Maybe today is a day that we dig a little bit deeper, reevaluate and build a firm foundation with Jesus. How deep is your foundation? Anyway, it's always good to see you. Looking forward to seeing you next week. You all are awesome. Praying God's best for you. This is Grace Points. God bless you.